That is correct. And you know what? City leaders fought for it and they finally got it. So PG&E for the first time has opened up this resource center here in Colfax. Now, this is extremely important for two reasons. One, as you just heard there from Monica, it is starting to get extremely cold, cold out here, especially at night. And also, too, there are a lot of older folks who live in this community and they can't drive a far distance to get to other resource centers. <laughs> this is Ron Williams. Ron has been living at a senior mobile park center in Colfax for the past five years. Behind that smile and charisma is a lung disease that makes Ron's life a little more complicated. Until recently, he had to use an oxygen machine. When the power was off, I had a, a long underwear on for a week. Not the same pair, but I had it on every day and then sweats over that. The potential new power shutoffs has him worried about the dangers the cold can pose on him and everyone else in his neighborhood. Being old is one thing, being old and unhealthy is another. And up 48 degrees when there's no way it heated up. Neighbors tell me many seniors living here are on a fixed income and can't afford a generator, which can cost several hundred dollars even for a smaller one. Ron says he was covered during the last shutoffs thanks to his neighbor. He's planning on doing the same thing this time around. Next door, they were hooked up to me. I was hooked up to him. So there was three of us running off of one generator. And down the street, 84-year-old Wayne Lee showed us his camp stove and how he's getting prepared for the shutoffs. So I've stacked up with some more propane canisters. That's okay, I've gone camping. It's, it's not a, a, you know, a terrible thing. Wayne says his family lives on the East Coast and taking off is not an option. So he, like Ron and many others in this community, will hunker down in place. I wear uh, a flannel shirt and then I have a wool shirt over that. <laughs> so far it's worked out okay. I can handle the 50s okay. A good attitude there, but of course, a lot of people worried about the most vulnerable. And so let me show you, we're inside of that resource center. Uh, this resource center is located on Main Street here in Colfax. It will be open from eight to eight during the power shutoffs. So Miguel is uh, showing you just a little bit around. You can see there are 30 charging stations. Of course, there's gonna be some hot coffee provided, blankets, and the most important thing, uh, at least in my opinion, it is warm in here because, as I said, temperatures out there are getting pretty cold. Reporting live in Colfax, Mady Gomez, back to you. And Mady, how long do those resource centers stay open in the evenings? They close uh, at a certain time around night, right? They do. Yes, that's right, Chris. So they're going to be open from 8 in the morning till 8 in the evening. Now, I asked to see if they're going to keep them extended for a longer period of time, and PG&E says um, they're working on it. They're going to let me know if that becomes an option at some point. Okay, our Mady Gomez live for us tonight. We thank you for that update. Now, keep in mind, before shutoff, you should confirm or update your contact information with PG&E. Create a safety plan for your family and pets. Prepare an emergency kit that includes food and water, and make sure your phones and other devices are charged. Now, if you have a generator, make sure it works. Learn how to manually open your garage and keep a battery-powered radio nearby. Always keep cash on hand and have a full tank of gas as well.